And welcome back to This Week. As we wind down the year, looking back at the big stories of the year, I thought we should also take a look at the big blog topics of the year. And joining me, Adam Kleinheider of VolunteerVoters.com, Brittany Gilbert, NashvilleIsTalking.com, lifestyles, community events, politics. As you guys look back on the year, did your topics of interest kind of follow the news of interest, or did you kind of break ground of your own? Um, I'd say for the most part, um, most of the bloggers in the area followed the news, making commentary about it. But um, I think one story I think that maybe the bloggers uh, took a little further than the, the media was the uh, Tennessee walking horse cruelty uh, debate. That, that Not naming a champion. Right. That continued on for a while, much beyond uh, the mainstream media's uh, when, coverage. When you look at the political blogs coming in, the folks talking, did you go a little deeper maybe than we did as far as some of the topics, the looking at the ads, looking at the candidates? I like to think we did. I mean, we have more room than, and more time because you can get get into more stuff. Was there anything that kind of jumped out at you and became the hot topic, especially during, I guess, the Senate and Governor's campaign? The Senate campaign, probably the biggest uh, topic being blogged about. Probably the ads, because you can put them on YouTube now, and, and they just immediately go up, and you don't have any, you know, you don't have any barrier to entry. You had some crossover, too. I mean, a lot of political talk moved from your blog to your blog. It kind of went this way. So folks were talking not only about lifestyle issues, but it kind of came around to the topic of the day, the, the election going on last year. Absolutely. Uh, there was, a, you know, a lot of people who never really pay attention to politics definitely got uh, involved in uh, commentary on this one, uh, what with the debate about whether or not there were racial undertones in some of the ads, that really got a lot of more people than just political junkies talking. New media, old media, I, I kind of disagree with the premise that, that you guys are going to put us out of business. I think we kind of go together. I think maybe what has happened, though, is that you guys generate some topics that maybe we had not thought about before or had not seen as important before. We're hearing from people out there. Do you see it that way? Definitely. I mean, old, old media is not going to go away. People need journalists and people need a voice also, but the, but the citizen media cannot do it themselves. They need do they don't need gatekeepers, but they need help. Do you feel the people that you communicate with that go to your blogs on a typical basis, on a daily basis, feel like they are part of the process with this tool that didn't exist five, six years ago? I, I think so, and they, and they tell me as much. Uh, you know, a lot of times we'll reach out to the blogging community if we need an expert on something, and we didn't necessarily have an expert on that field. We can reach out to those who who you know blog and write about their you know, personal lives and and, find, and get voices that we wouldn't have had before. I remember the first story I did on a blog when the impact blogs were having was in the 2000 presidential election. So that's six, seven years ago now. It has really changed and really grown. I mean, every day there are folks going on your blog, which is kind of narrow. You're talking mainly about politics, national politics, Tennessee politics. So there is a voice out there. There is an audience out there who wants to talk about this. Definitely. Yes, there's definitely a voice. Is there a difference between once an election ends, do you see a drop off of interest? Are there topics that kind of pick up the drag once the election went away? Now we're going to look at the next presidential election, the upcoming legislative session. You do see a little bit of a drop off, but luckily this time we had a couple of bumps where uh, Bill Frist decided not to run for president and then uh, the lieutenant governor's race mm -hmm. where blogs actually broke a lot of the stories. Lamar Alexander losing the minority whip. Exactly, that's another one, yeah, that was big. What's the most topic, the biggest topic that folks get on your blog to talk about? Do they talk about neighborhood events? Do they talk about celebrity events? Do they talk about things happening in their church? Is it all of those things, or is there one maybe key issue that kind of gets people brought in and it branches out from there? I think, I, I don't think that there's one, you know, major topic that brings in people. Um, there are definitely some that, you know, bring out more comments than, than others, but I think it's important to, to note that there's a lot of diversity in the thought. I mean, you can't, you couldn't really say what all of the bloggers are talking about because there's so many different conversations going on. I go to your site, there's always criticism of political blogs, that they're all right wing. Give me your view on it. I mean, I see different points of view come in there. I think maybe if I had to, to judge it, it was probably leaning a little right from the folks coming in, but I, th I see different points of view. I think it definitely leans right in the explicitly political blogs that are just talking about raw politics. But then, because liberal blogs seem to talk, seem to branch out more. So I think it's it's even, but in, if you're just talking about raw politics, then it is it is a little bit right of center. One big issue that I know was on both of your blogs last year and probably will continue is immigration reform. There's really a lot of interest. There's a lot of heightened anxiety. There's a lot of uh, strong opinions on both sides of that issue. 
Yes, definitely. That If I had to choose one topic that brought the most people out to discuss it, it would be immigration and immigration reform. Um, just with uh, there's been a lot of like inflammatory events that have happened over the you know past several months, and so there's a lot of debate from both sides of that issue about immigration reform. If you had to make a guess, we're going into 2007. What do you think will be the beginning hot topic as we head into January? I don't know. That mayor's race is heating up <laughs> pretty quick. Like <laughs> so. Politically, we got presidential candidates announcing already. Locally, the legislature goes in session in a couple of weeks, and as Brittany said, the mayor's race. Any idea where you think where the the interest is going to head early on? I think the lieutenant governor's race definitely, and whether Wilder can stay on. And that's decided January fourth or fifth, I believe. So we'll know pretty soon. We'll know yeah. soon. Adam, Brittany, thank you very much for your insights. Stay thank with you. us. This week continues after this.